Hello friends, I am Vinay Kumar. In this series of Arm Cortex M4, I am going to explain you what are the operation modes of Arm Cortex M4. Here see, there are mainly two types of operational modes present in Arm Cortex M4. The same discussion is also applicable for M0, M1, M3 microprocessors. Okay, here the types of operational modes are first one is thread mode. Okay, and second one is handler mode. Now, what is thread mode? Thread mode is nothing but it is also called as user mode. Whenever the program execution starts, the program execution should be in thread mode only. Remember one thing, always the execution of program or the execution of instructions will be in thread mode unless any interrupt or system exception occurs. Here see, what about handler mode? Here see, when the interrupt, when the interrupt or system exception occurs, then the processor changes its mode from thread to handler, which means by default the mode of a ARM Cortex M4 is thread. Whenever the interrupt or system exception occurs, then only the mode changes from thread to handler. Now, what is the need to change from thread to handler? Why we need to change the mode from thread mode to handler mode? Here, see, in thread mode, we can't access all system resources. Remember this point. If you are in thread mode, you can't access all the system resources, all the system restricted uh, registers also. But if you are in handler mode, you can you can you can read or you can write all the system resources. You can read, you can access all the system restricted registers also. Okay, that is the main use of handler mode. So if you want to use any restricted system resources then you need to change your mode from thread mode to user mode okay now see here after execution of isr the processor comes back again to the thread mode which means whenever the system exception or interrupt occurs then uh, the processor changes its mode from thread to handler we know that one and after executing the handler mode after executing handler mode is nothing but after executing isr isr is nothing but interrupt service routine which is the program corresponding to the interrupt or system exception whenever that program is completed then our processor mode come back to the thread mode only okay now i will show you in generic user guide there is one register for reading the status of operation mode interrupt program interrupt program right yes it is interrupt program status register it is a register for finding the status of a uh, program which means here we can find the status of operational mode also here see isr number is there isr number is nothing but interrupt service routine number i will explain you all all the things about interrupt in my next videos but for now just remember isr is nothing but it's a number which indicates the mode of operation mode of a processor here see uh, there are 9 bits from 0 to 8 here this 9 bits are used to represent the operation modes or which kind of interrupt is executing in the processor here observe when when isr number is 0 which means it is in thread mode here observe when isr number is 0 which means it is in thread mode when isr number is 1 it means it is reserved when isr number is 2 it, it means it is NMI. NMI is nothing but non-maskable interrupter. Likewise, for every internal exception or external interrupt, there is corresponding ISR number. By using that ISR number, we can easily find which kind of interrupt is going to execute by the processor or what is the operation mode of the processor. If, if it is 0, then it is in thread mode. If it is a non-zero, then it should be in handler mode. Because observe here, all the non-zero numbers are system exception or interrupts. Okay, we know all the system exceptions or interrupts are executed only in handler mode. That means if ISR number is zero, which means it is in thread mode. Other than zero means handler mode. Okay, now see here. I'm going to demonstrate this thing with some uh, with one example. I already wrote this example here. I'm simply copying this example. And I'm going to paste this example in my STM32 cube ID. Here, I will briefly explain this example. 
there is no uh, not that much thing here here first see here main function is there we know already this main function execution starts in thread mode only here see this function executes in thread mode here in main function i am printing one statement that is thread mode before interrupt here uh, i am calling one function that is generate interrupt in this function i am going to generate one interrupt that is irq 13 okay whenever uh, this function calls this function will go to here okay here observe i am going to take two pointers pointed to this addresses now i am doing some uh, register configurations here these two register configurations enables ir3 interrupt here observe you no need to know about this uh, what what these registers are doing i will explain you about this while uh, task scheduling or uh, when we are discussing about interrupts or ha handles okay now for now no need to remember anything just assume these two uh, statements is going to enable ir3 irq3 interrupt okay after enabling this irq3 interrupt this irq3 interrupt is uh, related to rtc wake up irq handler okay rtc wake up irq handler whenever you enable this irq3 interrupt then it should call this function okay this is nothing but handler function handler function or you can call it as irs i mean interrupt service routine also isr okay now i am going to debug this code in my board so i am connecting my stm32 q stm32 discovery board to the system first i am going to build yes build successfully there are no errors now i am going to debug yes it is debugging okay it's debugging now for knowing for finding the difference between thread mode and a handler mode here i'm going to add one breakpoint here in a handler mode now see here if you want to uh, find the difference or if you want to know how the switching happens from the thread mode to handler mode you need register settings for that go to windows show view and uh, here registers are there right fault exceptions here it is registers here see there are some registers which related to arm cortex m4 here one register is there that is xpsr which is nothing but program status register here observe the first nine bits are zeros first nine bits are zeros which indicates the processor is in thread mode whenever the first nine bits are non-zero then only it indicates the processor is in handler mode now i am going to step over i am going to step over again here whenever this generate interrupt function executed then the interrupt uh, triggers happens now again step over see here the function i mean the control comes to this handler you know already this rtc backup irq handler is the irs i mean interrupt service routine for irq3 here observe whenever the control comes to this handler here uh, the xpsr value changed the first nine bits are changed before this the first nine bits are zeros but now it's non zero here observe uh, 1001 which means it is 19 okay that is non zero non zero is nothing but our program is in handler mode now our program is in handler mode not in thread mode now observe what is 19 here what it means 19 here i'll show you 19 means 16 means irq 0 17 means irq 1 18 means irq 2 and 19 means irq 3 i already told you here we are enabling irq 3 by doing this settings okay by doing this settings here we are enabling irq 3 here also we got 19 only 19 indicates irq3 handler is executing okay this is how the processor switches from thread mode to handler mode whenever the interrupts or system exception occurs i hope you understand the difference between thread mode and handler mode in my next video i'm going to explain about 
uh, privileged and unprivileged memories okay thank you thank you for watching this video if you have any doubt let me know in the comment box i will definitely answer all your comments and if you want to contact me directly then i will give you my mail id telegram channel and instagram channel you can contact me thank you thank you for watching this video